Hello, hi, my name is Tara. Thank you for tuning in to my podcast at Tara One Love Coach and also my second channel, The Tara Cafe, and also my podcast show, The Tara One Show. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. Okay, well, I'm going to do a part two of economy predictions uh, for the USA. And just to get a feel of what the economy is going to look like in the next few months. Okay, so I am going to start reading as a collective, reading the energy as a collective. And I am then going to move into the messages for money and the law of attraction. And also, I will be exploring your sacred wealth code as a collective. So this reading will be done as a collective for the for the USA economy and just to see what the energies are going to be around you. Okay, so let's get started. So show me the energies around for the USA reading as a collective. What does What do we need to know about the economy moving forward? So the economy is going to depend a lot on the current situations that are going on um, today uh, with uh, the medical part of um, for the USA the medical challenges that we all are going through, okay? So let's see what's in store as a collective. And the first card that comes up, the energies is the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So Archangel Ariel is the second chakra and the second chakra explores that is the sacral chakra which explores relationships and emotions okay so it could be relationships with our co-workers relationships as we uh, work with other people um This is the energy that is coming out in Archangel Ariel is ruling that part with relationships and emotions. Um, You may feel a bit sensitive around this time. And also you may be feeling a little bit stressed and feeling a certain way with your stomach. Um, Just a bit stressful and it could be hitting the area um, around that area around the abdomen Uh, so let's look at the second card which is magician and the mirror magician and the mirror so with magician the energies this is about manifesting manifesting your dreams your goals manifesting and putting your mind to what you want your mindset i feel like spirit is going to work a lot on how you think and how you look at things looking at things from a different perspective as well but i feel a lot of creativity from this card as i said in part one that we are going to be we are going through a shift right now um Financial constraints coincidentally comes out as well. So as a collective, 
it does say that the economy will uh, go through still some challenges for 20 for this year 2021 um but at the same time i feel during this process it will force us to change the way we think or the way we look at things and how we work as i said in part one um so i feel it's, it's going to be a season of preparation preparing just trying to stay ahead of the game trying to keep your ear to the pavement just to see and hear in regards to what is going on you know keeping abreast of everything bottom line okay as a collective all right so those are the energies that are around so let me just kind of zone in on the let me just move into your sacred wealth code and these are cards called your sacred wealth code by Prima Lee Gary Gary your sacred wealth code oracle cards I'm reading from okay so let's see what comes out here with these cards you can kind of make your affirmations um, speaking the things that you desire out into the universe uh, to manifest your dreams and goal remember you have uh, as a collective you have the magician and the in the mirror knowing that your magical power is within okay we have the magical power within us so your magical code is opportunities to prosper are everywhere so spirit is saying that even in the midst of a, a challenging situation there are opportunities everywhere uh, logical discerning flexible financial psychological creative communicative social brilliant quick evaluative technical inventive um, you are coming up as a collective as the merchant, merchant ruled by Mercury. Um, so that's a, a prosperous card. Now this is very interesting. These are opportunities that will, that you may implement in what you're doing now as work or you may be getting new. Um, you may use these talents in work that you're already doing or these may be new opportunities that will that you will start to do and again logical discerning flexible financial psychological creative communicative, social brilliant quick evaluate technical inventive so and this year coming up as the merchant now the second one is coming up as the magician so we're going to speak again about using your power, using the magic that you have inside. I am a master manifester. So that's an affirmation. You can say, I am a master manifester. And your talents is inquisitive, alternative, Intelligent, conscious, creative, magical, intuitive, inventive, alchemic, technical, artistic, dynamic, psychological, synthesizing, eccentric, and charismatic. So these are the energies that you will also be working with. And the king. And you come up. As the sun so the sun as a collective is shining upon you amongst all these inward talents that you have um, many of us have more than one talent we have many talents we have many layers okay but also embracing the Sun energy as the king I powerfully lead my mission 
is a great affirmation to say, I powerfully lead my mission, regal, powerful, passionate, courageous, sovereign, irresponsible, benevolent, creative, innovative, decisive, directive, inspiring, visionary, respected. So those energies are around you. Amazing. So let's move into the reading. Page of Wands comes up for the year of 2021 as a collective. So for this year, I would definitely say, and as I said in part one, we will be starting with small ideas um, and new ideas that will expand, okay? We will be tapping into uh, the talents that we already have. The magical talents that we already have. Seven of Swords come up in the past. And with the Seven of Swords, it's people are going to be, I feel like watching out for those watching out for others, people that may not be in your corner. That's why I spoke in video one, part one, about coming together, coming together with people that are around you, coming together with friends, coming to, together with family that you trust, okay? There will be those scammers out there as well, which I spoke about in video part one. Um, so be prepared. And not to get into things that will cause you to lose money. But keep your eyes open for things that people may try to do to cheat or to get over. So you got to be careful with that. Like little money groups or pyramid schemes, stuff like that. So you got to be careful. Um, quick money. People may be trying to make quick money. Okay. Uh, the chariot I think I got this in video part one about the movement we are going to be moving forward and no more it doesn't feel like we're going to be stagnated with stagnant I feel like regardless of the challenges we are going to be moving forward as a as a collective in the wheel of fortune you may feel things are back and forth a little bit wobbly like the Wheel of Fortune, but the Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Jupiter. So it's a it's a card of luck, a lucky card. It's a is knowing that this year of 2021, I feel like we're going to be walking into the things happening that are that will cause luck. Um, to cause blessings to come in, unexpected blessings um, that you're going to feel very lucky and fortunate. Seven of Cups is the smoke screen. So I feel like it's also for, for 2021 is going to be a search for truth and a search for knowledge. I feel like there's going to be a lot of bloating um, ideas are floating, maybe conspiracy, um, but things that are not quite true. So I feel like this is going to be, I feel like there's going to be a lot of changing in, in certain things that will concern us. I feel like this is going to be medically with the things that are going on medically now. I feel like there are going to be things that they're going to try to hide from the citizens I feel I feel like there's going to be some hidden situations because the seven of cups is the smoke screen so something that is not quite clear um I feel like for this 2021 
with this shift and this change, we're going to have more clarity um, for this year. But I feel like also we still have to be vigilant and to listen and not to latch on to things that are not true. I feel like this is uh, it's going to be a time where we really got to stay close and grounded in spirit. Bottom line, um, in spirit, we got to be close and grounded because sometimes it's you don't don't watch watch what they do. I feel like this is going to be a, a year that you have to watch carefully and and really use your intuition. I feel like your intuition is also going to lead you to new opportunities um, in prosperity and increase. There's going to be a lot of creativeness going on, new businesses starting up, a lot of entrepreneurship branching out on your own, and also identifying your inner talents. Uh, we have the King of Wands coming up. So this is definitely an energy of moving forward. And we have the Queen of Sword. It's going to be an energy of justice as well. Um, law, justice, things that are going to be... Um, that is going to be, I feel, that is going to be very insightful. This is about intellect and to the Queen. And this is also about law and rule of law as well. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of that. We have that Queen of Swords coming up. I believe there was a Queen or a King of Swords coming up in part one. A lot of secrets. I was speaking about that. The moon is coming up. So Pisces is actually coming up also collectively. So a lot of things, a lot of secrets, I feel like are going to be revealed. Um, we're going to get just a whole line of information from what I'm picking up for for the economy but I feel like it's going to help us it's going to help us I feel like also new medical technology is going to be coming out as well I feel like something with technology there's going to be a big shift and we're going to be using something that is connected te to technology. Hmm. And the star. The star is definitely a good, a good position, a good card collectively. So that tells us that not only with the Wheel of Fortune we're going to have the blessings and the luck, but the star is going to come out. So it's if says that we're moving from a challenging time but we still have to prepare and be prepared for unexpected events okay but the star is telling us that things are going to get better that's that is that we're moving in a direction especially with the chariot is telling us that we're moving forward we're not moving backwards and we're moving strong ahead um the star is telling us, is giving us hope. There's going to be hope and there's going to be happiness, I feel, coming for 2021. Some people say <laughs> 2020 was just a trailer for 2021. I, From what I see, I feel like things are moving forward and things are going to get better. I, I feel like it's going to move. It's starting off at a slow pace. But I do see things picking up for 2021. I feel like we're going to be pretty much moving out of this challenging situation and moving into the star energy, the star divine energy. So stay hopeful, stay optimistic, and continue to keep your faith as you're preparing. Until next time, God bless you.